Bye. <laughs> What's up? Hey, man. So you see we got this device here called the HP Tuners MPVI 3 Plus. So this is their latest software that we're going to use with this ECU for this Polaris Pro R to make some serious horsepower. I just got off the phone with Poncho in regards to Urban Assault 3 project that we're going to be working on soon too. Um, down in TJ since we're in Chula Vista right now or somewhere by that. Uh, yeah, enough of my rambling on though. I need to get this thing ready for UTV takeover that we leave for tomorrow morning. So hopefully Dune Hoon knows what he's doing and uh, HP Tuners is gonna make that easy for him to the best of my knowledge. I mean, it's always been easy with everything else, so nothing's changed <laughs> except the device. We're just doing setup for old Dune Hoon here, just because, uh, you know, he's a nice guy. And we want to take as much stress off his back so he can focus on making the most amount of power. <laughs> Look at that four cylinder. It's about time. This is your world right here, right? Yeah, you are a four cylinder nerd. Years ago. Hey, I got to show you all something super sick that we did on these LSK doors, though. Ready? Have you seen this yet, dude? Look at all that turf. Oh, that's rad. That's sick, huh? Ultra deck. They selling this as a kit? For the LSK doors? Yeah. It's a new kit that uh, I helped develop. It makes the door, watch, shut the door. Feel how freaking solid. It has, Psych. The, gas, has the gas shock Psych. on it. Psych. Is that what's going on here? It's right there. Yeah. Sounds solid, huh? It does. Have you ever heard a door shut like that in a razor? No, I have not. In a side by side period? No. But wait, there's more. Look at the roof. That's tight. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, so that's why if, you know, Will ever rolls it what, again. What this here? is Sir William. <laughs> if it Will ever rolls it again, it bumps his head. At least it's a little padded for oh, him now. Makes sense. You know, thanks, Will. Good job, dude. You're, you're a great guy. I haven't rolled it yet. Yeah, that's because no one else is allowed to drive it. Test drives later. We'll see. Yeah? I haven't rolled it. Um. <laughs> Let's not roll it. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. No. Okay. We're not doing that. Um, the ECU is back here behind this panel. Um, it's not going to be. So we need to get the diagnostic connector. Yep. I think it's under the hood. Perfect. And the other ones that isn't, I've never seen one of these in person. This is your first time? Yeah. Hey Lance, how easy did they make it for you to plug into the diagnostic connector? Well, if this is exactly where we're plugging into it, it's pretty easy. It's under the hood just like any, or underneath the, what is this thing called? Steering wheel? Driver's side dash. Yes, driver's side dash, just like any other car. We'll see. Yeah. We're tapping into the stock ECU right now to see what our parameters are. And then uh, we're gonna run it, see what all those baselines are. Hopefully that jet didn't mess up this audio. Probably did, but we're still winging it. You get it with the jet. This thing's about to turn into a jet, right, dude? Yeah, sure. All right, so let's swap that. Swap base. Okay, so that did require a firmware upgrade on the device. That's a three. Yep. Plugged it in, resync, firmware upgrade, not connects to the vehicle. It did not connect to the vehicle before. So they require firmware upgrade when they come out of the box. Easy. Took like less than a minute, two minutes? Yeah. High speed technology. <laughs> We wanted the fuel to be as fresh as we can get it out of the pump. We might play with some uh, race gas in the future, or VP 110, or no, the VP oxygenated 96 octane fuel. That's gangster shit. But uh, 
We're keeping it simple for now. But when we go racing, that's going to be the fuel that we'll use. And then we'll have multiple tunes. So you can bring Doom your car or your ECU. And you can flash it with the tune that we specifically run. With or without an exhaust. We're doing this with a stock exhaust. And then we're going to have Horsepower Church make a custom uh, exhaust. That we're going to talk about with the proper sizes for off the header. That'll have a couple steps in it to where it'll give it more mid and top. That's what we're going for with our exhaust is mid and top. Um, these things already have a lot of torque in the dirt. They break the tires loose like nothing else. So we want mid and top. We've actually played with that fuel, the UTV fuel. So I do sponsor a couple racers. They do pretty well. We just don't really talk about it too much. But that fuel does work. Um, I'm really curious to see what this is actually all going to do. I have no idea what these things are actually making the tire. We know what the 1000s do, we know what the Turbo 1000s do, but we just don't know what this platform does yet. I just don't have the data, so that's what we're doing today. We're learning a whole lot of new things. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we're going back to the 90s with the four cylinder stuff that dude who used to do with, with his hair doing everything, man. Just makes sense. So right behind this little panel. It looked like this on the dyno in 1999. Right behind this little panel here is where the ECU lies. But we're not gonna take this one out yet. We're gonna see what this one does with the stock platform first. Four bolts and the back comes off. Do do. Oh do do. I got your spark plugs ready. Check the plug. We're going to clean them out, check the plug. All of them? Mm. I mean, to be honest, we should. We're marking all the coils so they go in the exact same location. Consistency is key. That's doing him. That's why he's keeping his hair. The race gas stains the electrode, or stains the porcelain insulator, too. I tried to fool him by telling him I only ran 91. He's like, no, you didn't. And I'm like, you're right, dude. That's how I know you're good. Because <laughs> I, put a, I did put a little bit of VP110 in it when I was like low on fuel. I dumped a little VP110 in there a few rips ago. And uh, didn't get nothing past this wizard. They're good. We're just looking for consistency. Four. Yes, sir. And uh, gotcha. try to meet you there right on time. Oh, oh perfect. perfect. Uh, all right, sounds good. All right, man. Talk to you tomorrow. Later, Talk brother. Tomorrow. So it says 225 horsepower and 152 pounds of torque. I'm not sure if that's to the tire or not. No, it's crankshaft.
last pull made five more horsepower on his first try. And you know what he says as soon as the data comes up and he sees that it made five more horsepower conservatively? What'd you say? That was easy. That was easy. This is why I'm here at Dune Hoon's Dino. And this is a Mustang Dino. So we're capable of putting load to it for a real world scenario of going up a hill to where your torque and your horsepower is much more accurate than like a free spinning dyno, which... That's an inertia dyno, it's just a big weighted roller. Which is, yeah, a bunch of bullshit. This is real data. Seven horsepower is a lot with a stock exhaust. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I want to push it any further. I know. Uh, and you raised the rev limiter. Yeah, the limiter's up a little bit. We turned the fans on earlier. Uh, turned off most of the stuff that's a pain in the dick, like putting the thing in park, park to start it. Um, you know, just all the little stuff you usually do. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so this means if it does start to climb in temp, it'll help regulate it uh, at, a, at a sooner temperature, a lower temperature, so it won't keep creeping on you, because sometimes these things will what? They'll, they'll heat soak. Well, it was definitely sitting here getting up near 200 when we were making the pull earlier. The fans don't come on, so we gave them some more duty cycle earlier to come on yep. earlier. Um, you know, kind of typical shit you do when you're tuning stuff. To make it tight and right, because these things, we don't, we're not running in the cooler temperatures that you know uh, the other parts of the country see. So when we're running in the hot deserts or in uh, you know summertime at the river or whatever, we don't want this thing to heat soak and then have have a hard time controlling that temperature. And when it does run cooler, it is going to make more power and live a longer, healthier life. Yeah, we can get a little more aggressive with some of the other stuff on pump gas when it's a little bit cooler more safely, which is what he was saying. But, seven horsepower, stock exhaust, 91, Dune Hoon Tune, using the new MPVI 3, baby. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, if you're comfortable with it, I'm comfortable with it. I wanna get the exhaust on from Jeremiah at Horsepower Church after we get the LSK rear tire carrier on there. We're gonna route the exhaust out the side, and then we're gonna see what it makes and if uh, Jeremiah knows what the fuck he's doing. I might make a couple more changes and then do a plug read and then we'll call it a night. But that's for another episode. HP tuners for the win, dude. <laughs> they made this pretty easy because it did not take you that, like, too long to figure but this I'm out. But I'm also extremely familiar with HP tuners and how to set stuff up in the background. I've been using the product since MPVI Pro, which you can insert right here and you can see what I have. I have all their devices. So why don't you tell, tell them what you're no, looking for. We can't for. give away all the secrets. Bro. What are you looking for? We're, we're checking code. timing right now. That's what we're, doing. we're checking code? timing. We're looking at the strap on the plug to see where the timing mark is. <laughs> Do you like it? I think we'll go a little bit more. More? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Another two? <laughs> Another two, dog. Dude, I don't know how this dude does this shit so fast. 
I guess that's what, how many years of experience? I've been doing this since I was about 15 years old, on and off. We're only, not gonna tell you Only did we get it. serious about seven or eight years ago. I think this shop is seven years old. Yeah. This was my hobby shop that just turned into this. This was for my stuff, my friend's stuff. And now I'm doing my friend's stuff again. Oh yeah. Is, how, how far out are you on appointments right now? So January. People, January. So don't be hitting him up. I mean, he might have some side-by-side tunes like this Pro R that he can get done for you easily. But don't be blowing him up if you see this because he's that good to where he's booked to January. So I'm sorry. We're going to make this a little different. Yeah. So this is going to be more like a, a kit form. Um, we'll probably start being, doing the exhaust testing shortly. There's a couple other components that go with this. And then you buy all those things at one time and it comes with a tuner and you install the other parts, drop the tuner, and load the file, and there you go. I think Blake is happy. Yeah, I mean, we made almost, almost, almost 10 horsepower. Yeah, we almost found 10 horsepower. Stock exhaust, I mean, it's all stock. The thing's entirely stock. Bone stock, like, um, which, is, which is really good. That's, I mean, when you're talking 10 horsepower on something that's under 200 horsepower, like we made, shoot, like eight, eight to nine percent more power, which is a healthy margin. Um, yeah, I was surprised at actually how quickly it responded. So it's just I can watch the back of this car and the tires ramp up so much faster, and it just the the pitch of it. I mean, the tires are literally spinning the tires on the dyno, even though we cranked it down a few extra times uh, as we progressed. And um, the numbers don't lie. The load doesn't lie. We got more RPM, which means more top speed for a longer time frame to where it doesn't sign off so we can hold uh, more horsepower at a further RPM, which RPM in these with the CVT means more top speed. So we could probably come close to breaking 100 miles an hour. Yeah, there's only two ways you're going faster. You change the gear ratio, the tire size, or the RPM. Those are what you have. Test drive. Oh, shit. Yeah. What was that doing here? You said before anyone complains, our shop temperature when we started, we actually have, if you come over on the other side, over here, we have our temperature in the top corner right there. So we actually started at 80 degrees, now it's 79. Our temperature stayed the same. We tried to maintain. Uh, I did all the pulls the same. Engine temperature, catalyst temperature, speed, everything. So it was all apples to apples. It's this ain't no close, bullshit. Close as I can get it. This ain't no bullshit around here. myself in some trouble now. It's noticeable. Oh, my God. 
shaky, bro. Like, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> this is the first time that I've tried these. Uh, these are the uh, Gladiator AT tires. They definitely have a much harder square edge to them. So you can feel it when you're kind of like braking and or sliding it. You could feel that there's more side bite on them. Just, a, just enough to where like if once you commit, you got to stay committed. Otherwise, you got to straighten out. You can't like let off, especially with the CVT stuff because it like decelerates like at a much different feeling than like what I'm used to. But that fucker rich. You want to drive it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> I can leave that thing right there. <laughs> Will already fucked that one up. I'm not too good. William. <laughs> Dude. I was like, damn, we brown too. <laughs> Once again, dude. Once again. Oh my gosh. Real good. I'm glad I worked out. Yeah. Smooth. Nice. Sm like, Top just, speed, weird? Yeah. I got it up to 88. You were moving pretty good. I did 92 before. <laughs> yeah, but I had a, a five mile lake bed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sick. Whatever. Oh man, these girls are spicy, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Good job, Dune Hoon. Thank you. Just fake it. I just keep pushing stuff on that keyboard.